That is a compliment when they talk about that. If they, if they come out with that phrase, anybody, that's a compliment. That is the fact that we play the game as most people think it should be played. That is on the floor to feed quick, neat, uh, decisive, clean, and everything that's good about the game. We portray it. When I got the job at Derby, I got the job on a Sunday at the, uh, at the hotel in the North East, the racing hotel it was. Sam Longston had come down. He said, right, you've got the job. He said, but I want it ratified at a board meeting. Will you come? I said, yeah, I'll come. I said, um, what time like? You know, he said, uh, half past ten. I said, half past ten? I said, I'm not going to but he bored me. Half past ten. He said, well, we'll have one at night then. So I dumped me missus in the park with the three kids, went in, got it ratified, went out, and back to the hotel. Yeah. Happy days. Happy days, yeah. Oh, that were. Yeah. Happy days. So this dead ball specialist, Hinton, Far post, and it's Davis! It's another one! Roger Davis scores his first ever league goal! And another tragedy for Bob Wilson and the Arsenal defence! Brian didn't do what you'd call normal things. Whoa, it's bloody rubbish! It's rubbish! We used to stay at the Midland Hotel on Friday nights, and Brian would walk in with a tray of beer. The normal puncher at the time would have been shocked. But that was Brian. He just walked in with it with a tray. There you are, lads. And the basic idea for that was to prepare us, relax us, for a football match the following day. Get in there. That's what I pay you for. Good managers make good sides. There's no such thing as a side making a manager. I always believed, right and so, the managers were the most important thing. And I used to uh, drill into the chairman I used to work for. I said, the hardest job you'll do while you're chairman whether it's 20 years or 20 weeks or 20 hours, they'll be the, the manager here. Because if you get a good one, you keep it right, you'll do all your work. We've got a lot of character in the side. And if anything is going to win second division this season, apart from the normal skill and fight and all that type of thing, it's character. And I've got it, I think. Oh, McFarland! Well, it had taken us a couple of years to establish ourselves in the first division after winning promotion. But by 72, you know, as a side, we we're really getting it together. Brian Clough, at this moment, is on holiday in the Silly Isles. But last night, we got in touch with him. I wanted everybody to feel like I felt last night, everybody in the world, in actual fact, and this morning. It was an unforgettable feeling, and I only wish that, you know, everybody could have shared it with me and everybody in the world. I think I, I, think I would like the supreme job of, uh, of dictating football, and that's the supreme job, and I mean dictating football. I mean right down to the school level, right down to the coaching level, and saying, this is how I believe it should be done. We had the shooting box at the Derby, and we just let the kids have a wee shot. In it. Brian reckons I taught them how to play. Did you? <laughs> <laughs> no. Just let them hit the ball and kick the ball, that was it. I never taught them anything, but Brian said it did. David McCart set the base, and then uh, everybody else blossomed. They were all there waiting for everything until the sun came out and David McKay and Willie Carlin was our sunshine. It's McKay this time. And it goes! You just beat me back over the field by about five yards. Well, you'd have been bloody standing there when I got down, you'd have been over on the right way. We were playing Benfica in the European Cup, but the came absolutely immaculate. And they're all going out to see the pitch. Well, I'd been up two days water, two nights. We used to water it with a cannon, like the ocean pipe, real ocean pipe. And the old dumb pits had gone on six yards and sank up to the bloody ankles. And all the suede shoes and everything. <laughs> and they literally, they were coming down the, back down the tunnel, shaking the bloody feet, saying, we're not with. So I went back to the dressing room, I said, I've beaten those bugs before we were on the pitch. They're doing this soon. <laughs> and I said, they were doing this and doing that. We've them three months. Murdered them. Murdered them. I can only relate uh, to two things more, well, more than two things, but one thing is how, what a great manager he was. And, and 
and the way his team's played. I mean, his team's played fantastic football. Every team I've ever seen him have, they, they played quality, quality football. And he, he won things by quality football as opposed to any, you know, stopping them this he played. And, and to me, um, that is what I think is uh, the art of good management. I'm conceited uh, in respect of having got a side like Derby from where we were Certainly. and worked bloody hard for four years and got them to where we are now. Now I know I've not won a championship or anything like that, but you know if Malcolm Allison and Don Revy are not proud, conceited, call it what you like about their achievements, I think there's something the matter with them. Mm. I think conceit and arrogance is part of a man's makeup. Perhaps I've got too much. It's only opinion. Makes the world go round.